Good morning. I'm Kathy Williamson with Goodwill Works, and this is Issues and Insights. And my guest today is Ms. Kristen Abel. And Kristen, I understand you're the Career Resource Center Manager here in Elizabethtown. Correct. Thank you for taking time to come visit with me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So there's a new... Big change. A big change yes. in Hardin County. I didn't know exactly how to, yes. how to word it. So tell us about the new Goodwill Works Career Resource Center. Yes, so we have moved. Our office was previously in the basement of the Hardin County Health Department. It was a wonderful location. We loved it there, but we had outgrown mm -hmm. our digs. And so we got a new office space. Um, we're at 243 West Dixie. That is right next to the Quixie radio station, right across the street from the Kentucky Utilities. Um, and it is a much larger location, <laughs> so we're able to offer a lot more things inside of that location. Yeah. We're really excited. Folks don't see that building because the building is long. Yes. So all you see is the end of the building. Right. And so when you start telling folks where this is, it used to be a church. Yes. And it's really long. Yes, it, it is. We talk about that uh, that uh, hall. <sighs> that hallway. That it's, We get our steps in. Mm -hmm. We definitely do. Uh, the hallway is very long, but the good thing about that is that on the other side of that hallway we have a big resource center um, and so we have a lot of space to bring in community partners to offer their services right in our location um, and it gives us a lot of room to do trainings um, offer the resources that we have in our in our location so what would what would that look like who so, would you have bring come in there sure today? so we have many different community partners that come in um, we will offer some help signing up for insurance so if you have any issues with your insurance or if you're just not sure where to turn. We have a health day um, every Tuesday that we'll be resuming in April. Um, you can come in, you can talk to any of your any of the Medicaid providers or get signed up for Medicaid or health insurance if you have that need. Um, we also bring in community partners such as um, Right offhand, I'm trying to think, um, the Kentucky Finding Cases, so that we do free um, AIDS testing and Hep C testing, their name has changed, and I can't remember right offhand what the name has changed to, um, but we bring in different partners that will offer resources, Spring Haven, Silverleaf, um, anything like that that can give information to the clients that we serve or just community or um, individuals in general can you walk know, in. One of the things, we were just in a meeting in the last couple of days, and one of the things that we pride ourselves in is the handoff, is right. the warm handoff. We don't just give you a telephone number and say call. Absolutely And, and even in this case, you have people yes. that will be there, and you can walk up, talk to a person, get your questions answered, find out what why this isn't working, what do you got to do here? Right. And that's that's a that's something that Goodwill is very very proud of. Definitely. Is that we do that that warm handoff. Right. We we put the put you in front of the person. Yes. We don't want to just give somebody a phone number or a list of phone numbers for resources that they need and then just send them out because that's very overwhelming. A lot of times if somebody doesn't answer on the other end, that person just gives up, doesn't keep making that connection or just, you know, gets frustrated. And so we want to make sure that we're making those connections for the people that we're serving um, to make sure that they're getting the services that they need, that they have that person on the other end of the line agreeing to a meeting, setting it up for them, letting them know when it is so that they're not just left to their own devices trying to find transportation or setting those meetings up, um, sometimes without success. And it gets really frustrating. Yes. Because you're not sure where you go to get a new, if you've lost your social security card. Right. If you lost your driver's license. Yes. And a lot, of our, a lot of our clients need those services. Especially because of COVID. So office hours and in-person walk-ins have all changed, but depending on the location. So sometimes you have to make that appointment in advance or you can't just walk up to the, the, the door and walk in like you previously could. Um, and that's something that varies from location to location. So we know those things when we're serving the people we know, okay, you can walk in this office or no, you have to make an appointment in advance. You that you won't have success. Um, and so we do those things for them. Sure does improve your chances yes. of being successful. Yes. 
Okay, so that's <coughs> that's the career source day. What do we do, like job fairs? Oh yes, so we have, since we've moved into this new office, we have not held a job fair, but we will be holding job fairs. We have plenty of space. We have space for events. Um, we are actually holding the this Hardin County Skills U graduation okay. ceremony right. in our location. Um, and so we have 9,000 square feet in this new office space uh, to utilize. And so we have many different things. We have a computer lab. Um, individuals are able to come in, use our computer lab at no cost to them um, for a certain amount of uses before mm -hmm. we offer additional services for them. Um, but we also offer career coaching, training classes. We do a lot within that 9,000 square foot office space. Absolutely. So uh, what are the requirements in order to be able to utilize this? Sure. So to utilize the Resource Center, anyone can come in. Anyone can come in. But to become a member of the uh, Resource Center, individuals have to be over the age of 16. Okay. So they can walk in um, and, and get the information from us. They can give us a call and get information. Um, but anyone over 16 can come in for job assistance, um, or just to come in and use the services that we offer in that resource center. Do you have to have parental uh, yes. agreement for we that? Yes, we do ask that you have um, to utilize our services long term. We, we do need parental consent okay. for anyone that's 16 to 18. Um, <laughs> but after that, you know, anyone is able to utilize us. Um, it, it, we don't have an age cutoff, so you know the, the sky's the limit. Anyone can come in. And you know some of the things that might be available to them in the computer lab is I had someone my, in my class last week that hadn't typed in a long time. Yes. And so you can just go sit in that computer lab sure. with a headset and go through the typing class. Yes. And get your speed back up. Right. Yes. Yeah. Those classes, so for anyone that has not used a computer, that is not comfortable with a computer, uh, we all know that a lot of the jobs that are out there require computer skills. Typing skills, at least basic typing, basic computer, um, how to look at your email. Most job um, applications are electronic. Mm -hmm. uh, and so those employers will be emailing to let that candidate know that they're scheduled for an interview mm -hmm. or that they may have been offered the position. <laughs> and without knowing how to use email, you can't really uh, be successful. And that's another one of the programs yes. that we offer. Yes. Is again, you can set, it'll, it'll step you through all the different pieces and parts of a computer and right. then the different uh, standard software that most most com uh, companies use. Yes. Absolutely. And a good thing about that is you can gauge your progress. So it'll give you a score and that's all, you know, that's just for you to know how well you're doing and then that score hopefully will improve. Um, we have a peer uh, support specialist in the office that is going to assist people with those, uh, those courses online in our computer lab. So you're not just going to come in and we're going to sit you down and, and put you to work, we're going to have somebody there to support you, um, walk you through those steps. If you have questions, uh, if you're struggling with something in particular, we can offer yeah, more. Yeah, because if you get frustrated right. and you don't have someone to ask, yes. I mean, you know, that will help at least get you going again. Yes. And if you hadn't had seen this, you know, I say all the time, cell phones right. have really messed up our typing skills, yes. our QWERTY keyboard yes. has gone away. Right. That so, autocorrect when you... Uh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So, you know, having an opportunity to just sit there at your own pace right, and go through these until you can kind of get, you know, because it's like riding a bike. Right. You know, once you learn how to type, you'll pick it back up. Sure. But if you haven't used it in a while, your it skills get... It kind of falls away. It, yes. It kind yes. of falls away. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So this is our building at 243 West Dixie. Yes. Folks can just come in. They go to the front, talk, uh -huh. talk to you. Yes. So they would come in, uh, there's somebody at the front desk at all times, so somebody should be there to greet you, uh, to find out what your interests are in. Do you want just to take those classes in the computer lab? Do you want some additional services? Um, would you like some career coaching? So we'll figure out what your needs are, and then we will put you on that right trajectory to get you to where you want to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so we're helping them with those pieces. Yes. And so, you know, we, you and I have talked earlier about employers. Yes. And we need employers in the community. Right. So what are the benefits of hiring someone that has 
come through our program. Yes. And we can talk about each of the, of the programs. Right. So for an employer, uh, we take a lot of the work off of their shoulders. So we will train them um, with some uh, great skills that all employees would need mm -hmm. um, right off the bat. And then we also do pre-screening. So we do a background check for each of our individuals um, just to get an idea of what you know issues they may have had in the past as well as a drug test. Um, and so we do that pre-screening for everyone that before we put them into employment and then once they've become employed with our employer partners we follow along with them up to a year um, so we want to know are they being a dependable employee are they showing up on time do they have a good work ethic when they're there are they getting along with co-workers um, because we want to make sure that if there are any issues once they've become employed that we address those that career coach wants to dig deep to figure out why is this issue occurring how can we fix it uh, so that that person can remain employed long term yeah we talk I talk about in my class, acknowledging that there's an issue right. gives you an opportunity to, to correct it. Exactly. Yeah. So the first class they'll go through is the soft skills. Yes. Now, some of the folks that come through the class that are maybe 16, maybe they haven't worked. Right. But other folks that are older have worked. Yes. And we know these things. Yes. We know, you know, attitude and conflict correct. resolution. But these are refresher courses. Right. And I've actually had class members that you could almost see the light bulb go off over their head and they go, Oh, no wonder I have such a problem right. with getting to work on time Yes, or not getting along with my coworkers mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. So that's soft skills. Soft yes. skills is two days. Right. And it's, it's four hours each day. Correct. And so you have to go through that. And once you complete that, you'll actually get a, a certificate of completion yes. from the Soft Skills Academy. Correct. And so if employers are looking at a resume mm -hmm. from someone that's been through our classes, this ought to be on their resume. Yes. And then they know that they've completed this portion of our class. Right. Yes. Yes, they get that certificate of completion, but they also get the pride with knowing that they completed that course, um, and that offers them membership into our resource center. Uh, that means that they can utilize any of our services um, as much as they want forever. Mm -hmm. So uh, they become members, and they can come back to us at any time for any assistance that they might need, and we can point them in the right direction. Okay, so once they finish soft skills, mm -hmm. the next course is called Good Start. Yes. Now, Good Start is a five-day course from nine to one. Yes. And it goes into some of those other things we were talking about, some Correct. of those assessments yes. for like North Star. Talk, talk about those things. Sure. So that Good Start curriculum is about 20 hours in total. Um, and during that class, they will get that digital literacy um, piece that will give them the basics. And they will have opportunities to improve throughout the class. So even if someone comes to us and they have no computer knowledge whatsoever, we are going to help them to at least get those basics under their belt so that they can continue on um, even if they choose not to proceed with any of the other things that we offer. Um, we also do a typing assessment and that's not to judge anyone on their mm -hmm. lack of typing uh, proficiency but we want to uh, to see where someone's proficiency right. is so that we can either continue to give those assessments to give them um, different options that they could help themselves to improve upon. Um, but we also will help them build a resume during mm -hmm. that uh, week-long class. And, and that resume is super important because that is the first thing that employers will look at. Um, and that will usually determine whether someone's called back for an interview mm -hmm. um, or just thrown into the trash pile. Yeah. Um, and so resumes are super important and most electronic job applications require a resume. Um, and so you can't even get your foot in the door often without a resume. And back to the typing, you know, the job application may say requires 40 words per minute. Right. Well, if you did 40 words per minute when you came out of high school, right. but you hadn't had an opportunity, yes. this will give you an opportunity to kind of see where you are today. Exactly. And if you do need to improve, so that if you do get an opportunity to apply right. and you were happen to get the job, mm -hmm. you're not in there typing 20 words right. per minute, you know, and not meeting the requirements of the job. Yes. Okay. And with that, once you complete that, then you'll actually get a work ready certificate. Mm -hmm. Yes. And again, this is for an employer. 
looking at a resume, this is proof. This yes. is, you know, this is verification that they've been through the classes. They've, right. they've, they've, you know, met the assessments, they've met the requirements of mm -hmm. the class, and they have a certificate of completion. Definitely. Okay. Yes. And then the last one that we have is called RISE. Yes. And RISE is a little <coughs> different it in is. the way that it's, it's, uh, Put out, but yes. talk to us about RISE. Sure. So RISE, the acronym is Reintegrating Individuals Successfully Every Day. This will be a two-week virtual class. Um, individuals will come either into our facility and we'll give them a Chromebook and put them in a quiet room with some uh, a headset so that they can take this class individually, or they can take it from their own homes, um, but they must complete Good Start in order to qualify for RISE. So uh, we have to sign them up for that and make sure that they're ready because RISE is pretty in-depth when it comes to the computer um, and knowing how to navigate the computer because it is all virtual. Mm -hmm. um, but during that class, that's more of a holistic approach and so that focuses on mind and body as well as the other pieces that might go into employment. Um, and so that course is a little more in depth, but it's a very rewarding class. Um, individuals that go through that training, they really get a lot out of it. So it's an amazing program. And it might be the first time they've had an opportunity to have access to those, the, those folks that are experts in all of these different subjects. Yes. And have that communication. And, right. And have an opportunity to do that. Yes. And there are some benefits from this. I right. I mean, you can, there is a stipend that you can, you can get and a laptop and that sort of thing. Uh-huh. But, you know, I see, I see RISE students coming in the class and headed back there. Right. Because they're excited. Yes. Again, it might not be that they've ever had an opportunity to have access to this information. Sure, yes, yes. They uh, get a lot out of that class. And like you said, so they can earn, if they complete the digital literacy portion that goes along with RISE, they can earn a Chromebook as well as additional supports. Um, and so it is a really great opportunity um, for, for individuals to go through that training. And so back, talking back about the, 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 the big room that we have, uh -huh. we have these partnerships with folks like Skills U. Yes. So someone's visited our office, they, they're saying, I need my GED. Right. You know, I started or I haven't started, but I need my GED because so many of the positions require that. Yes. Talk about our, our partnership with yes. SkillsU. Yes. So we are a SkillsU Connector location. SkillsU is one of our very valuable partners. Um, that partnership allows us to have GED classes offered in our location. Um, testing can be done in our location. Um, if someone needs to obtain the GED, that is something that we can assist with. Um, we know how valuable it is. Many, many employers require a GED, mm -hmm. um, especially some of the, the higher paying positions. Mm -hmm. uh, not to say that you cannot get a good paying job without a GED because you can, but this just gives you a leg up. Mm -hmm. um, and so they will come into our location, we partner with them, we figure out how and what it will take to get that person's GED and put them, um, put them on the path to getting that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, again, with, with Goodwill, people know that we're the store of course and the store does give us the financial support that we need to do what we do right but there's so much more to goodwill yes. than that so the next thing I want you to talk about is cars to work yes because that's a barrier for a lot of folks it we is. don't have mass transportation in Harlan right. County so having a vehicle right is, is another barrier it to is a lot of folks. it is so transportation is something that we see in a lot of the people that we serve as being in need um, the cars to work program is a great opportunity for an individual to get an affordable but dependable vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, that is going to be something that you can come into our office to, uh, to be pre-screened for. Um, but those cars are, it's a partnership between Oxmoor, uh, Hyundai, and they offer different types of vehicles to individuals that come in that may have no credit, um, that may have had um, a car repossessed or something mm -hmm. in their background. Um, and they will, 
make it a possibility of ob obtaining a good dependable vehicle. Um, that program offers a year of AAA included mm -hmm. um, for the first year, but then um, individuals will have a car payment that is capped between $150 to $200 a month. Um, and so, you know, some of those newer vehicles could be much more than that. I know right. my vehicle payment is a lot more than that. Um, and so this is a great opportunity for somebody to get an affordable but dependable, reliable vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the, the last one I have here is the expungement yes. clinics that we have. And we do those in person and also virtual. Right. So kind of takes away your excuse. Right, exactly. <laughs> that you didn't go and, and have this looked at and see if there was an opportunity to have your record expunged. Right. So we have expungement clinics throughout the state monthly, multiple times a month. Um, and then we also offer a virtual clinic monthly as well for individuals that don't that may not have transportation to get to their nearest uh, expungement clinic or that just would like to, uh, that maybe maybe they can't get there for whatever reason, maybe they're in a treatment center or whatever. Um, and so this is a program that Goodwill partners with different, uh, some of the different uh, resources, what am I trying to say? Some of like the legal bigger, aid, yes, legal such aid, such um, United Healthcare Anthem, um, things like that to offer these services for our individuals. And so if you have something on your background that you feel like is preventing you from moving forward in life, whether that is um, for employment purposes or whatever the case may be, Goodwill will um, offer these clinics. You are paired with someone from Legal Aid. They will run your background to determine what is expungible and what's not. Um, and then if there are things that are expungible, they will work with you to get those expunged from your record. Um, this is at no charge. So with the partnerships that we have, this is fully free to any individual that comes through these expungement clinics. And so it's a great opportunity um, for individuals to get their records expunged they're happening all the time. We actually have one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so they're monthly mm -hmm. and we hope to have one in our location here in uh, the Resource Center in E-Town within the next few months. Mm -hmm. Now that we're open, we have a lot of room to um, hold the clinic. We right. are going to be having one. So stay yeah. tuned for that. You know, Kristen, we have covered a lot Yes. that Goodwill offers. And I know our, our viewers will say, I had no idea Goodwill offered all of that. Yes. Here's what, what we need. Mm -hmm. We need employers. Yes. We need companies that will take a look at our folks that have gone through our classes right. and check, checked off and, and passed and did these things and, and followed through. We need community partners, we employer do. partners yes. that will give our folks a chance. Yes. So how hard is it to sign up with us? Oh, it's super easy. So we don't uh, make you swear out a blood oath or anything like that. You fill out one page. Um, it gives us information about what you are looking for. So does someone need a GED or a high school mm -hmm. diploma? Do you accept individuals that may have things on their background or do you not accept that? That's, you know, we up need to, to the know. employer. We need to know those things so that we know who we can send them. Um, what's the hourly pay on average? What shifts do you need employees for? Um, and so we get all of that information and then we will look for our through our applicants mm -hmm. to figure out who would fit those positions. Mm -hmm. Are their goals aligned with that company? And then we will help, help them to apply. Uh, but then we also want to follow along. So if that employer at any time feels like, hey, this person may need a little extra help in a certain area, we want them to reach out to us so that we can do the hard work for them. Um, you know, call them in, have those tough conversations. That's what it's we're here for. It's an ongoing partnership. Yes. You know, a lot of times people use that word kind of loosely, but this is, we want, our goal is for these folks to be successful. Yes. And if there is something else that we can reach out and, and help them with, with that maybe they hadn't had an opportunity to have before. Mm -hmm. We want a partnership with these companies. Right. And you know, when you go down the roads, when you go down Ring Road and you go, you see these flags, yes. hiring, hiring, hiring. All over the place. We would love to have every one of those companies to give us, get in contact with us. Right. And let's talk about if we have someone currently yes. in, our, in, our, in our system that would be a good fit or, 
you're looking for specifically something and tomorrow that person could walk in our door. Right. Yes. You know? Yes. I mean, are we see people with ad advanced degrees, um, with trucking licenses, I think CDL licenses. Right. Um, we see individuals that, you know, may have no experience mm -hmm. um, and that need an entry level position. And so we, yeah. it, it, it's, you know, it, it just varies. And as retirees, to what, yes. military retirees yes. that have retired out of the military and now they want to take their skills and go somewhere else. But it's hard to transition from military yes. to civilian. Right. And so they come in, they've got master's degrees. Right. They've got all of this experience in the military, but they don't know how to step into the civilian sure. population, fill out an application, right. dress properly. Yes. You know, we'll do mock interviews. Right. We'll help them. Yes, and I've we had will. Them, I've had them come back and say, that was so helpful. Yes. Because practice makes perfect. It does. And it makes you more comfortable. So mm -hmm. it, without practice, you you know, you may think that you're prepared to go into an interview, but you once you're asked one of those tough questions and you panic, you know, that interview is just unsuccessful. And so we ask, ask those tough questions in the office, get you completely prepared for walking into that interview so that you know exactly what to say, what not to say, so that that employer gives you another shot. Or yeah, a and, second. and one of the things that we talk a lot is how it's done differently. Yes. How the computer world, you don't go in and fill out an application right. in the lobby like you used to. Right. And how you have to do that. Yes. You know, so gosh, Chris. And a lot of those interviews are being done virtually. Oh, And Zoom. so we prepare you for that How as well. How to do that. Yes. We can practice yes. with that as well. Uh -huh. So that is Goodwill Works. Yes. That's our resource center. Right. That's what we do. Yes. You know, we are still Goodwill. We are. And kind of to wrap it up, there is a grand opening of yes. a new store. Yes, I'm sure everyone has seen our Dixie location. So we have a store that has been, it, it was torn down and rebuilt. So it's mm -hmm. a bigger location, brand new, it's beautiful. Uh, the grand opening will be April 11th from okay. 11 to 1. Our CEO and our CFO will be there um, to, to christen that store, mm -hmm. um, give some, some words. And so if anyone is able to attend, it's going to be a great event. Yeah. Uh, April April 11th. Uh, we actually have three point. Goodwill stores in Hardin County. Yes, we do. And so one of the things we talk about is going to the store and yes. getting an outfit to interview with. Yes. So the Goodwill store, we have a, a lot of connections with that. Right. And so we make that available as well. Uh -huh. So I really think, Kristen, we've done a great job yes. explaining what the Career Center is all about. Yes. It's all under the Goodwill umbrella, Correct. but we're more than the store. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, uh, but we do need the stores absolutely. to fund these programs. We need the stores. Yes, yeah. those the, the, the sales from the stores mm -hmm. go back to career services across the state. Mm -hmm. So we have resource centers just like ours here in, in Elizabethtown across the state that provide the trainings, uh, the supports for individuals, things like that. So uh, we really rely on the stores and we rely on those donations that's, for these that's programs. That's where the funding comes yes. from. From. Absolutely. Yes. Kristen, thank you so yes, much thank for being you. here today. And we appreciate the opportunity to talk about Goodwill and what our Career uh, Resource Center. We're going to do a grand opening we there are. soon. Yes, We're not we sure are. when. We're not. It has and not it'll been. Be at, it'll be posted. The Chamber will help us yes. get that out and everything. And so. we want everyone to come see us. Come look. Yes. Take a look at it. Yes. Because it is, it is amazing what, it we, is. what we have available. And it's all free. It is all free. That's yes. the other thing. People exactly. say, how much does it cost? Yes. Thanks again. Totally free. Thank I'm you Kathy so Williamson much. I'm Kathy Williamson with Goodwill Works. And this has been Issues and Insights. We'll see you next time. Thank you.